So a knee replacement in simple terms is we are removing the damaged cartilage and a small amount of bone and we're putting in a combination of metal and plastic to make up for the damaged cartilage. Uh, we go through the front of the knee, we replace those components. Once we get those components in place, the knee moves in a nice smooth fashion, similar to what a regular knee would. So we indicate a total knee replacement and recommend it once you've failed the easy things. So once you've tried activity modification, pain medications, injections sometimes, therapy options, home exercise, chiropractic. Once you get through those things and the pain is still not something you can tolerate, it's affecting your quality of life, it's affecting your mood, your sleep, not able to do the things that you wanna do, that's a great time to consider a total knee replacement. Uh, there's different types of knee replacements, so sometimes we don't even have to do a total. A partial knee replacement can be an option, but that's the prime candidate. The reason we don't just run out and do a total knee replacement on everybody is because there's certainly risks. The biggest risk I always worry about for everyone is gonna be infection. Now, while our infection rates are incredibly low, we're way below the national average, it'd be unfair for anybody to claim they have zero infections because it is a risk. Uh, certain patients will be higher risk for that and that's something that we talk about. We worry about fractures around the implants, uh, especially if you have trauma, if you have a fall. We worry about instability. That's something that can develop over time or if there's an injury, something like a car accident, another major fall. Uh, certainly worry about people who uh, get a replacement and don't have a realistic expectation. And I think that's the biggest thing. It's not really a risk, but you always wanna to talk to your surgeon. Make sure you're comfortable with what to expect after surgery, where you're gonna end up, how bad is the knee before, what are we expecting after replacement. That's gonna be the biggest thing. And then lastly, it's all the things that are true for every surgery. So anesthesia risks, blood clot risks, uh, getting stiff from not getting up and moving. So while there's certainly other things that we consider, that would be the major category. So typically whenever we do the surgery, you're gonna be up and walking the same day. So we really get you up, we start moving right away. A lot of patients are now candidates to actually do this as an outpatient. So I'll do the surgery, Go home the same day, be with your family, be in your own home. You'll have the medications you need with a lot of instructions, kind of guidance, setting you up for success. Or we can stay in the hospital, and our average hospital stay now is really only one night for most patients. Um, certainly if you need longer, we're not rushing you out. Up and walking the same day, we're using walking aids at first. At first you're leaning on the walking aids, after that they just become training aids. Most folks, most folks are off of the walking aids. Somewhere between two and four weeks really comes down to your strength and your stability. Safety is key. By six weeks, you're moving around great, you're feeling really good. Night pain seems to be the last thing that goes away, and that's because you're working so hard with therapy. They're keeping the muscles stirred up, they're kind of keeping you constantly getting better. And then we consider a knee replacement really healed between that two and three month window. Meaning you're back to most of your activities you were doing before surgery, and you're probably starting things you haven't done in a while. Knee replacements keep on getting better because your body keeps adapting to it. You keep adding new activities for really up to a full year. So it's something that is a gradual process, but with the newer techniques nowadays, we're getting folks a lot better, a lot quicker. I think the biggest difference recently is our approach to surgery and how we manage the surgery itself, as well as the post-operative recovery. The implants are great. They last a lot longer than they used to, but I think that's really where we've learned to shy is what we do into and after the surgery. I think most folks who have an apprehension, a hesitation around knee replacement, it's mostly based around talking to a patient that had a bad outcome. I think that's true with anything, whether it's medicine, other areas in life, the folks who don't have a good outcome are the ones that are gonna be the most vocal, and I think that's fair. Whenever you've had a complication or you have a problem, it's something that you, know, you certainly wanna vocalize. But if you're somebody who's looking at a knee replacement, keep that in mind. Because for every patient that's unhappy with their outcome, there's hundreds that are doing fantastic that don't talk about their knee replacement because quite frankly, they forget that they have it sometimes. So I think that's a big part of trusting your surgeon. Understand what you're going into. Have realistic expectations about your specific situation, your knee, what to expect. That's how we know we're going to get you to where you want to be and where we can get you with good expectations. <laughs>